But we know oil is still in the Gulf, some perhaps sitting on the sea floor, other dispersed in the water column. But how much is near our shores? Tonight in the story you'll see only on three. Dan Thomas went 60 feet below the surface to find out. We're out here on the Gulf of Mexico, about four miles off Pensacola Beach, and you can see on the surface of the water, there's really no sign of oil at all. But what we're looking for today is what's underneath. On board Mike Harrell's Raving Mad, we met up with Escambia Commissioner Gene Valentino and the county's Marine Resources Advisor Robert Turpin. They're all interested in this spot because it's where they get the sugary white sand that re-nourishes the naturally eroding beach. I have seen uh, what I think, uh, analysis will prove that uh, what I thought was oil. To see what Harold's talking about, I put on a respirator and hit the water. Harold says it's not unusual to see brown film like this on the bottom, but he thinks some of it is oil. The crew from Escambia County carefully combed through the sand and took numerous samples. I found what appeared to be tar balls, similar to what we've seen on shore. This is video shot by Harold of a nearby location. It shows a much thicker brown film. It's not what he was hoping to find. His marine services company depends on the Gulf being pristine. There is no business, no tourist. No tourist, a lot of people around here didn't use their boat and they're not having their boats repaired. Overall, the marine life didn't appear to be dramatically harmed and county officials say they didn't see anything visually alarming. Harold hopes there's nothing to be worried about, but he has his doubts. I've been diving these wars for 25 years, and what I have seen, it just doesn't look like it used to. And all of these samples will be taken to the University of West Florida for testing. Reporting in the Gulf of Mexico, Dan Thomas, Channel 3 News. Now, since Dan went on that dive, Escambia Marine Resource Advisor Robert Turpin says initial tests show that the brown stuff in that video is not oil. The samples will be sent to the University of West Florida for further testing.